Radio Raheem here with Mike Mile High Alvarado. All right, we're going to bring Sit it up, up right here. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Sit up right here. A little bit more comfortable. You know, Mike, Bob said that whoever wins or loses this fight, you win or lose, you still have a great career ahead of you and, you know, all these opportunities. Do you believe that? Is that how you feel? Definitely. I mean, I'm still, you know, here. I'm still focused on what I need to, to do for my career. You know, this is just going to, you know, add to the to the sparks of my career and in life that, you know, that makes me feel better about everything that I got going on in my career, in my life, everything. So, you know, I'm focused for, you know, for this fight. And, you know, the goal is to, you know, catapult to, a, to a, another bigger fight. So, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm just honored with this opportunity right now, you know, and I'm ready to shine and do what I need to do to, to take that up. There's no question that your win over Brandon Rios was like the biggest win of your career. Since then, you've been on a slide. You you want to break through to that elite level. You want to be able to prove yourself on that next level. How important is this fight to you to do that? This this is very important, you know. Winning this fight will hands down keep me on that level you know on that elite level you know I'd be go down as as you know the man who retired a legend so you know that's that's awesome for me you know that's exciting and that's just I'm just honored with that with that you know uh a chance in, in in this career right now in my life so I'm ready for it. Stylistically Marquez is known a legend as a counter puncher that could be um, how we expect him to approach this fight what are you doing to counter that and when in your training and, and having studied Marquez before you were even a fighter now that you're in the ring with him how are you going to approach him? I'm not going to play that chess match with him you know countering a, a counter puncher is like a chess game so you know I'm gonna have to you know adjust in the way I need to when I get in that ring you know strike first a lot of feints and lot, utilize my jab you know I have a lot of good sharpened tools to overcome the you know strengths of his so you know I just got to utilize them and, and, and you know exploit what I need to out of him his, his weaknesses and, and, and exploit my strengths for that to win this fight so I'm ready. You talk about his weaknesses. Obviously, you're the younger fighter in this case. Uh, you seem to be the bigger fighter. You may even hydrate uh, to much heavier than him. Where do you see your advantages, and do you think that Marquez has lost a step? Uh, I feel he has. I mean, uh, he, he, you know, he's, he's our, we're already talking about how, you know, I beat him, that he's going to retire. You know, why, why couldn't he have lost, knowing that he lost a step, knowing that he there's a chance for him retiring, you know? So, uh you know, I'm just going to stick to my game plan and I'm just motivated and I'm just, you know, ready to, to do what I got to do to win this fight. Man. Does that motivate you? I mean, obviously he was a hero, a childhood hero of yours, but now you have the opportunity to actually retire Juan, Man Mar Juan Manuel Marquez. A huge, huge opportunity right now at hand. So, you know, I'm just honored with that. And, you know, it, it just adds more more sparks to the to the fire, you know. So, you. you know, it's a great lot more motivation, definitely. And before I let you go, obviously with the Pacquiao fight looming for the winner, how do you feel that matchup would go for you? And well, let's start there. How do you feel that matchup would go for you? I mean, that'd be a great matchup. You know, that's the goal. You know, he he is the goal, definitely. You know, but you know, I, right now I'm just completely focused on Marquez. You know, I, I don't I don't really want to say that that's what's going to happen. So. You know, I, I'm just focused on Marquez and doing the best I can, you know. You passed on the Pacquiao fight once. You beat uh, Rios. You were the logical next choice. You said that, you know, you were okay with that, not being that, taking that fight then. Do you think it would be a better fight for you now than it would have been then? I believe it is now. You know, I'm more at peace with everything in my career and in my life. So, you know, I, I'm more pure. I'm, I'm clear on everything else that's balanced out in my life for that fight to happen, to go my way. So, you know, this fight is, is a perfect uh, fight for me to get to that level, and to be on that level. So. And lastly, Mike, uh, when you visualize this fight, when you see it in your mind's eye, how do you see it playing out? This fight is, is, you know, hands down going to be a great fight. You know, it's going to be war. It's going to be, you know, classical. So, you know, I'm not going for the knockout. I'm going to go for, for the win. So if the knockout comes, it comes. But I'm, I'm going to be ready for, for it. So. Radio Raheem with Mike Mile High Alvarado. Good luck Saturday night.